energy surrounds us at all times and is present in all places and activities. In this, the daily eco video, we focus on kinetic energy, one of the aspects of mechanical energy along with potential energy. Find out what is kinetic energy and how it works with examples to better illustrate these processes. What is kinetic energy and how is it produced? Kinetic energy is the energy that a body has as a consequence of its motion. This energy depends both on the mass of the body itself and its speed of movement. This energy is the capacity or work that makes it possible for an object to go from being in a state of rest to being in motion at a certain speed. The kinetic energy is produced by the movement itself and is calculated through the kinetic energy formula. The kinetic energy is equal to the product of the mass, m, and the speed squared, v, and divided by 2. For example, a body that is completely at rest has a kinetic energy coefficient of 0. When it starts moving and accelerates, its kinetic energy will increase. However, for the body to return to a state of rest, it must receive the same amount of energy that it received to set itself in motion, but in a negative way. Transformation of kinetic energy into electricity. The kinetic energy is converted into electricity by a machine called an electric generator. The initial energy can be from different natural sources which can produce movement such as water or wind. This is later converted into electrical energy thanks to a generator. Kinetic energy can be used to generate electricity or heat. An example of the change from kinetic energy to electrical energy can be the dynamo of a bicycle. The movement made by the wheel causes the dynamo to rotate and as a result powers the light of the bike. Another example is the mechanism used in wind power. This occurs when the blades of a wind turbine are moved by wind which then rotate a mechanism which generates the electricity. Find out more about wind energy in the info video above. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. Listen to this statement. Kinetic energy can be calculated for any moving object as long as the mass and velocity of the objects are known. Is this A, correct, B, incorrect, C, it depends on the object. Think about your answer and find out if you're right at the end of the video. Examples of kinetic energy. An example of kinetic energy would be when a glass vase falls. As gravity acts on the glass vase, kinetic energy accumulates in its body as it descends and is released when the vase reaches the ground or another surface and breaks. Another example is a ball that is being thrown. By putting our force on a ball that is at rest, we cause it to accelerate and travel a certain distance depending on the force that has been used. While the ball is in motion, it is generating kinetic energy. Finally, we can see it in something as simple as walking. When we walk, we are also generating kinetic energy. This varies depending on our weight and the speed with which we perform the action. For example, if we run instead of walking, the energy generated will be much more. Difference between kinetic and potential energy. There are different types of energy. Thermal, nuclear, electromagnetic or mechanical, among others. So far in this video, we have talked about kinetic energy, one of the aspects of mechanical energy. The other aspect of mechanical energy is potential energy. But what are the difference between kinetic and potential energy? As we've already mentioned, kinetic energy is what a body has in terms of its movement. On the other hand, potential energy is that of a body due to the position in which it is located. For example, if it is at height, it has more potential energy than the same object on the ground surface. Going back to the question we asked you before, do you have your answer ready? The correct answer is A. Since the kinetic energy is equal to the product of the mass and the velocity squared and divided by 2. If you want to continue learning more about different energy types, check out this playlist. Share your own examples of kinetic energy in the comments and we'll see you next time.